What's up, beautiful Gemini? I'm here today to connect to y'all. I'm super excited. Hello if you are here for the first time. And thank you for coming back. Very grateful if you are here. Um, again, if you have subscribed, hit the notification bell. And this popped up on your screen. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to tune into your energy reading for the month of December 2019. The last month of this decade. Big things are happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune into your energy for December. I'm going to give you some channeled messages, really short ones. Um, going to look at the overall energy team, um, the light and the shadow side of your energy or the energy of this month. Going to look in a little bit into relationships, a little bit into uh, a work, a little bit into health, and uh, maybe no, not maybe. We're going to we're going to also look at healing and possible steps, action steps that you can take, things you can focus on this month to make it make your month more favorable right um so yeah you can use this reading for your sun moon or rising or of course if you are cross watching for a loved one don't forget to switch up the roles yes so let's just get this thing started Whew. so tuning into your energy what i definitely saw was I heard Cabin in the Woods, and I know when I'm when the, the movie Cabin in the Woods is not a positive thing, like it's a thriller, like horror kind of movie, right? This was not the case. It was really just a Cabin in the Woods, but a very beautiful Cabin in the Woods. Um, I want to say luxurious, but it's not luxurious. Does that make sense? It gave me the feel of luxury, but it wasn't luxurious. Um, it was surrounded by woods and mountains and it was amazing like I saw these vivid colors and it was beautiful and I felt this fresh smelly like not smelly as in a bad thing but I smelled this fresh air um, I heard like the birds cheeping uh, I saw animals but there were no roads for miles how did the house get there how did you get to the house there was not a road inside for miles, not a house either. There was nothing surrounding you except for nature, except for calm, calm, rech rech recharged, do I, do I say recharged? Recharged energy, recharged energy, grounded energy. So um, I, I heard like, how did you get there? And are you going to stay or are you, will you be creating another way out of this and move somewhere else? So when I was looking at this energy, tuning into the energy, I kind of feel like um, you created a situation or a place or a, a thing where you are at right now, the destination, not the destination, the place you are at right now. This could be physically, mentally, emotionally. Like really, really, really physically, not not your body, but just like maybe somewhere in a certain place in a certain country, maybe your relationship or or something. The place where you are, you created something that is. Uh, um, there's no path there. There's there's no. You don't really. You're not really sure where to go next or what to do next. I kind of feel like you created this, and you were like, oh my god, I didn't like. Okay, I didn't plan out like to get here. Yeah, of course, I wanted to get here, but now I'm here. Like, there's there's either nobody in your family that has been here before, or there's some situation, some energy surrounding, like, you being here first. You have created this. You got here. Like, you created the... I kind of want to say, like, you created your own lane, but there, are, there, there were no lanes towards where you are. So, some of y'all, for some of y'all, this might mean that you got into this situation, like, very, like, boom. It just happened like of course i don't believe in 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 in, in uh, things happening on accident but it might f have a little bit of that energy surrounding it uh, you're definitely destined to be in this space i kind of feel like you're very grounded here in a space that you are right now um very mindful very calm very collective you got things very like together but some of you might feel very lonely too some of you might feel like 
you're stuck in a space um, um, you're not really no sh or sure where to move into next especially because I heard the voice say with a very cheeky type of tone like uh, how do you get there and 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 how are you going to stay here or are you going to move somewhere else so I kind of also feel like you are um, getting this getting the, the option this month to either remain in the space you are right now or to move into a next chapter move into a next move into a, to a next dimension time zone whatever something there's there's a new opportunity on the horizon but i kind of feel like i don't know if i want to say there's a new opportunity on the horizon because because i kind of feel like this doesn't do that doesn't do what's coming justice that's what i feel um, the card that I pulled for you is movement. It came in reversed. You see the snake here and you see the egg. Um, the egg to me is always about either pregnancy, birth, or new creation of some idea, some paradigm, some dream, some job, something new starting that needs to be nurtured. And I kind of feel like there's some healing surrounding it too, because snake to me is all about um, a healing, but also like shedding old skin and also moving up and, and, and moving into a more spiritual either realm or energy or situation also i kind of feel like this has to do with you being very protective of whatever it is that you are birding yeah so whatever it is that you are birding i kind of feel like you are very protective about this too so because you are in the in the cabin in the woods with no one around you you might have been um working on a certain project or an idea or a job or something by yourself and if this means like a relationship for some of you all not all of you a really small percentage this also has to do with a relationship there either might a lot be a lot of distance or there might there is a connection that's missing um there might be someone pregnant there but there's something there with it either not being the way you thought it would be it might be an accident or it might be like on accident there might be something there surrounding um i'm really getting a really strong pregnancy vibe right now um and i'm, I'm seeing either someone doing this by itself by uh, her of course herself because if you're pregnant it's going to be a you or her um um so either the, the 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 person is going to do the pregnancy by itself or there is some issue surrounding pregnancy or fertility um that you did not expect it um I also see that there will be changes and things ahead where that you need to address and that you need to take care of and that you need to protect in order to get what you really want out of this situation. So yeah, you're going to make a choice. A very big one, I think so too. Um, a very big one. I kind of feel like maybe not even on in one era, uh, one area. Not era, but area. Um, some of you'll need to make a couple decisions in uh, different area areas. Yeah, I said this right. Areas. So now we will be moving into your light and shadow energy. And when I'm looking at your light and shadow energy, light is all about your conscious mind. The things that you are aware of. The things that you know. Um, the things that you... Um, um see around you your higher self stop dropping these cards you um but also the things that you see as favorable right my nose is itchy again The energy is quickly moving. There's a lot happening. I feel like this is not just for your sign. I feel like for multiple signs. And uh, the cards are very jumpy. Like they want to like tell, tell me a lot. Like there's like no pick me, pick me type of energy going on here. When I'm talking about the shadow. Because I almost forgot to tell you about the shadow energy. Um, I'm talking about your subconscious mind. I'm talking about the things that you are repressing. The things that you see as less favorable. Even ego. I'm just gonna pick you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So something is irritating in my nose. Okay. Feeling like a bunny now. Okay. Um looking at the light side, we got 97. 
Yes, I said that correct. I had to think for a moment. Um, and it says enlightenment. Look at this card. Yes. And then we got um, in the shadow 38 black leaf feathering. Um, and looking, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at, sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking and there's a lot of information coming through. And I needed to filter it. Um, I'm not going to say um again. So, going to move on to Syl now. Uh, sorry. 97. So yeah, uh, when I look at this energy, I see you coming full circle. Something is being... There's definitely a choice that needs to be made. Because you're at a crossroads. Uh, I want to say so, full coming full circle. But I don't feel like it's a coming full circle situation. I kind of feel like um, there's no way you can go, you can move forward from this space that you're at right now. Without making a choice. Without making a decision. Um, it's a very interesting and a very good one. Uh, I see that the path will be lighted for you. I kind of feel like you will be guided. I kind of feel like the energy, the universe, your higher self, your conscious mind is going to guide you into the right direction. This is a very interesting thing because this also gives you more confidence in your own abilities, in your own intuition, in your own dreams, I want to say. I also want to say in the way you express yourself for some of you, um, that this is, that the way, you're good enough. And the direction you're heading in is good enough. You might be overthinking things a little bit too much. And you might be focused on what you will be creating in the future. Way too protective. Way too maybe even like strangling. Like keeping it so close that the... Like if you keep it... If you hold an egg and you like keep it like this. It's going to break, right? This is the energy that I'm kind of feeling here for you. You need to release a little bit of the control. You need to like nurture it, like touch it, like be kind, be gentle, be soft with yourself, with your opportunity, with the way, the direction you want to move into. This is definitely what I'm seeing in the light for you. This is a beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. On In the shadow, it's also not a very bad energy though. And when I'm looking at Black League Pattern, it's all about like standing up for uh, people's rights, standing up for your own rights, uh, trying to change and shift things uh, to a better situation. I kind of feel like it is the, the, the group of people that comes together to be uh, of service, thinking of plans and ways to help other people that are in a very bad position or that are being suppressed. Um, that's the energy that, that is surrounding the Black League pattern, like taking up arms and, and fighting, uh, going head to head, going toe to toe. Um, and this can be this can be in a very soft tone, but this, this could also be in a very like almost aggressive type of energy. So some of you might be dealing with some aggression this month or facing some aggression. And I really want you to take a step back and remember what you're fighting for. Remember that you're not like, uh, there might be some clashes with groups going on for you, Gemini. Or that you might be in the middle of. And you might be fearing for your opportunity. I, I hear, that's very strange. I don't know if I want to address it. So some of you feel like you might be f fighting for your life. And I'm not talking about like literally like dying. But... Fighting for your life. Like this is my space. This is my 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 surroundings. This is my opportunity. This is what I want. Um, some of you might be addressing um, long. So, some of you might be addressing things long overdue. Um, you might have been having issues with a, a group of people or um, yeah, a group of people. This could be people that are. Uh, supporting you or people that are really against you or like like you feel like they are suppressing you but I definitely feel like there's some group energy going on in the shadows that's coming to the surface there's a very karmatic energy there too I want you to choose your battles wisely pick your sides wisely uh, I'm not saying um, neglect what you stand for I really want to tell you to go back to where you and not where you came from, but what you stand for. Back to maybe even your roots. Back to maybe even, uh, it could be a cultural thing. It could be a family thing. could be a partner, like a love partner thing. Um, it could be an original idea that you have if you're starting a business. Uh, so think of this as a very broad thing. You might, Some of you even might need to 
go back a little bit and listen to this part again to look at this in different perceptions maybe because i kind of feel like it's brought to me in a very weird perception that might be a very strong one for like maybe a couple of people but if you go back and and, and maybe even write in your journal with it no make notation no, no, notations write it down I kind of feel like there will be there will be something very interesting happening there for you with groups with people uh, and you I feel like you will be doing the, the the right thing the good thing Ooh, I said the good thing and this is perception too right thinking that something or someone is is good or the opposite so yeah now we will be moving into relationships. So when I'm looking at relationship, I'm looking at your soulmate, twin flame, lover, child, family member, uh, friends, um, in relationship with your parents, relationship with yourself, maybe even colleagues, in the work field type of relationships. Every relationship you can think of, actually. Keep an open mind here, too. Take with you all the things that resonate and whatever reson doesn't resonate, just leave it. It's a general reading. It doesn't apply to everyone. I can't. <laughs> it would be impossible. Try to put so much in to this reading. Oh, interesting. So much into this reading as much as possible. So it will be, so will, you can all apply it to your life in some way or form. We'd love to hear in the comments what you think, though. And, of course, how your last month has been. I love, love, love reading your comments and your likes and your subscribes and your personal messages that I'm getting. I'm really grateful. Thank you. I feel the love and support. Okay. When it comes to your relationships, we first got, in Dutch, let op the tekens, er zijn waarschuwing signalen. Interesting. Uh, it says... Um, um, fo um, focus on the signs. See the red flags. There are red flags. There are warning signals. I don't know why I didn't know how to say this. And then we got number seven. <clears throat> Patience and planning. With the two pillars there. And I, I got the same card in the last reading. I think it was for Taurus. So. <clears throat> I saw. Um the warning signs and i i got a straight flashback to the part where i told you to um fighting the part that you are fighting for your life so in relationship you definitely might be going head to head with somebody or you might be um, um making sure that you are not being uh, dim diminished that you're not no longer in a toxic cycle. Uh, there might be some very serious red flags in um, a love relationship or a family member, a relationship with a family member, where you need to um, be very mindful of how you go about addressing the situation. Uh, I feel like you might need to have a little bit more patience, not with the person. I'm not talking about have patience with the person. I kind of feel like you need to have patience with how you're going to address this. Plan it out, like focus on the right way to say things, focus on how you're going to go. And I think like how you're going to go about um, fixing the situation, expressing your emotions and getting your point across. I feel like there is a very deep thing happening here when it comes to um, I hear this layer being pulled off. Um, so you might got a certain realization um, about a certain person. Uh, it could be a family member. It could be a loved one there. Um, it definitely has to do with a partnership. Uh, someone you thought you could build on or someone you thought you could build with. Um, I'm hearing Aries. So some of you might be focused on Aries. And I also hear air sign. I know you are an air sign. Right, yeah, yeah, you are an air sign, um, so you might be dealing with an air sign. This could be a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or an Aries for some reason. Uh, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Uh, when it comes to you building with someone for those with a relationship, when you're seeing red flags or when your intuition is calling you to um, 
pay more attention to something, please this month listen to your intuition and pay more attention. That doesn't mean um, jumping to conclusions, absolutely not. It means gathering all your facts before you address this person. So you have all your facts straight and you have all your evidence present it before you move ahead um i feel like the situation or the the thing that for some of you um when it comes to a relationship this is more your, your relationship is more stable more grounded or um has a very deep rooted spiritual connection there could be twin flame could be soulmate connection kind of feel twin flame Kind of feel twin flame. For some of you, you might be dealing with a twin flame situation that keeps popping up there. Um, and there might be some warning signs surrounding this uh, this either person or this relationship. Um, and you need to be very cautious when you move ahead with this person. You might be need to plan. And for some of y'all, um, this is not the time to reconnect with your soulmate or your twin flame. Um, and you kind of need to let it go. And the universe is giving you certain signs. Pick them up and go about your day. Your paths will cross again, right? Trust that. Trust and believe that. Period. Okay, then we're moving into work. And when I'm talking about work, I'm talking about job, career, um, higher soul's purpose, studying, learning, uh, your material, spiritual. No, not spiritual. Why do I keep saying spiritual? Go away, fly. Um... So your material, financial um, uh, energy, but also being of service and gaining knowledge. Gemini. I'm a Gemini in my rising. So it is also counts for me, right? Yeah. Oh, I need to look at that reading again then. Not taking this one. Taking a different one. Starting to think I'm just clumsy today. Yes, thank you. Why, is, why do I need to shuffle this long though? Okay, when I'm looking at your work energy, the first card we got is the Builder. And it says uh, your initiate ability to, I hope I pronounced it right, init, init, all right, I'm going to pull it up to the screen. So I hope you were able to read it. Maybe even is a mirror reflection there. So you might not even be able to read it, but um, your init ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Then we got you decide. So what I'm seeing here for you, again, interesting. Um, when we got the question in the cabin in the woods, uh, um, how did you get there? Are you going to stay here or are you going to move on? You get to decide. You are at a crossroads. You need to make a change. You need to, you need to shift into a different direction. And that's a beautiful thing for you this month. Um, uh, Gemini, I feel like you have more power. I feel like you have more ability to create the your your dream outcome, your dream life, um, your your cabin in the woods. You are able to create your 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 dream world, your dream job, your dream relationship. But you got to decide with which tools you're going to do this, which direction, what you actually want to build. Um, you can like create some sort of blueprint for this situation. By planning, by by looking at things from different perspectives, and I kind of feel like this will be an, an opportunity. This month will be an opportunity for you to um, lay. I, I don't want to say a foundation. I kind of mean like I kind of feel like creating a road that will bring you to a destination. That's um, what is it? I first wanted to say that's an upgrade from where you're going, where you were just now, from the cabin in the woods. But I feel like I don't need to say this. I kind of feel like I need to tell you that you can go anywhere. You can go back in time. You can go. 
you can go in like into the future you can go like into different directions i don't know why i'm getting it like this so this sounds really spiritual to me um because it kind of gives me the tr time travel element there so some of y'all um uh, want to go back to something from the past some of y'all want to move to the future I kind of think that this is the, the question where, uh, are you going to stay or are you going to leave? Um, how did you get there in the, in the cabin? Um, um, and I see you moving ahead. I see you making a, a very clear choice there. You get to decide there. But whatever you're choosing, make sure that you choose something that resonates with your soul and not something in order to please someone else or because it is convenience. Because it seems like the road of least existence, least. Not because it seems like the roads of. Now, nah, why can I say it? Ik, I want to say. The weg van het, van het minste. Minste weerstand. Least resistance. The. Whatever. Don't try to make. Go, take the easy way to do. The easy way out. That was horrible. Sorry, guys. Now we're going to move into health. When well, I'm looking at health, I'm looking at mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, and other, every other form of health you can think of. Maybe you're just thinking of something right now. That could be it, too. I got very serious and uh, my face was very serious. I was in a thinking mode there for a moment. And then I heard, why so serious? So I kind of feel like some of you might be at the end of this month, be very serious about, oh, your opponent. Opponent. I heard very serious about your opponent. So some opponent, uh, but I think you have an opponent when you're um, doing sports, right? Or you're doing something as in a game or you have some sort of competition there I kind of feel like you need to loosen up a little bit and enjoy things a little bit more i think that as soon as you release the tension surrounding certain situation i don't know which situation um with the opponent at the end of the month so i kind of feel like you will be competing with someone you will be going head to head with someone there will be an aspect of you um having some sort of like something some face off with someone at the end of the month that you are very serious about maybe serious about protecting it uh protecting yourself or protecting something there um um, I want you to like try to take a, a less serious approach, maybe a little bit of humor, maybe some like use some music or some sound there. Uh, kind of made me laugh when I heard, why so serious, right? So I kind of feel like you might be overthinking it a little bit too much. I also see you winning. So if some of you are having some sort of game or some sort of like situation or competition or whatever happening there for you, I kind of feel like you will be coming out on top. So you might be overthinking things and you might be too serious about it. And at the end you will notice like, oh my God, I was way too stressed or way too anxious or way too much in my mind and it wasn't necessary. So when it comes to health, we got here for you. Leap, you go first. And then we got the soul. And then we got spring, lente, in Dutch. The energy that I'm picking up for you when it comes to health is that I definitely feel like you need to go and make a move. You need to go into a certain direction. The health energy here is very surrounded your soul. And I see you making moves, but I also see you, um, I kind of feel like growing. I kind of feel like uh, when I'm looking at spring, I kind of feel a childlike energy. So there might definitely be some... Um, a child being born or conceived with the soul energy there, soul coming in. Um, and, and I kind of feel like you need to um, 
uh, experience this situation however it comes to you uh, be a little bit more playful your soul is trying to evolve into the next level but you gotta make you gotta do like certain action steps in order to get you where you want to go right that's what i'm getting for you so now I'm moving into healing. Healing being all the action steps you can take um, or things popping up to the surface or whatever comes up. Why is everybody getting this card? So, one more. I'm trying to fit this into the time frame before my camera runs out. I hope I didn't go over hell too fast for you. But I kind of feel like there's not really like a lot of Bad things to say there. There's a lot of spiritual stuff happening for you. Spiritual alignment happening for you. So we got the burning bowl. Like almost everybody. Um, then we got aromatherapy. And then we got be still. So the aromatherapy is kind of making me think of a quote that I posted today. About, um, or I said, uh, smells like sage and uh florida water so i kind of feel like an aspect of you needs to protect yourself you uh some of you need to calm down a little bit and relax a little bit i kind of feel like there's too much tension in your your back i hear muscles there like maybe there's like a muscle tension there or something happening maybe like for some of you i feel like a lag i kind of feel right leg so some of you might have some issues moving forward or taking action the burning bowl situation is you manifesting something that you want but then leaving it up to the universe in order to create it i want you to be still this month um so maybe even stay a little bit longer into the in the cabin in the woods because the cabin in the woods gives you a lot of like peaceful type of energy and you need this to make the decision of where to go into next then we got the second house. It says your assets, finances, and the things you value. So you definitely need to look at um, your house, your car, uh, your money situation, and uh, change that up a little bit. Maybe there's some destruction going on. Maybe something is ending for you, or it seems like something is being destructed, or something is is uh, is is ending up or coming full circle. There um, might not be for all of you a very pleasant experience. Um, but I definitely some of you will be at a standstill there though but I see that as soon as you address this as soon as you focus on making a decision when it comes to your assets when it comes to your finances when it comes to the direction you want to move into uh, your your standards your values the things you believe in once you make a stand once you make a decision I feel like things will be starting to roll and move over more quicker yeah so it's going to be a very good month for you gemini i hope you really like this reading if you did please give it a thumbs up share subscribe let me know in the comments how you feel also if you would like me to do a 2020 energy reading for the year of 2020 of course let me know in the comments and i wish you a beautiful month beautiful energy from my heart space center straight through youtube to you bye